My name is Denis Kadrik. I'm from Bosnia. I'm a Grandmaster. My major is ITS and I'm a junior. Hi. Today I'm going to show you my game from, from Bosna Open uh, this year in Sarajevo. It's the last round. I played against Nikolj Predrag, uh, a GM from Bosnia. And I had out of eight rounds, I had six, six and a half points. So I shared like uh, first place. It was me, Kozil and Martinovic. So this round was like basically for the first place. And after we started the game, the board next to me, the first board, they made draw. So if I win, I'm basically like first alone with seven and a half. So let's start. I played e4. He plays a lot of moves here. He plays e5, e6, c5. So I didn't really prepare because I finished the game the day before that, like very late. So I just went to the game fresh, trying to make up something. So e4, he played e6, but he also, uh, he didn't have uh, six and a half points. He was only on six points out of eight. So if he makes zero, he doesn't win any prize. And I thought he's gonna play for a win. So e4, e6, d4, d5. Knight d2, and because I thought it, that he's gonna play for the win, I uh, I wasn't expecting c5 at all. So yeah, I didn't even look at that. So bishop e7. Uh, bishop e7 is is kind of nowadays. Uh, nowadays I would I would say that maybe it's even the main line here. So uh, there are many like moves here, like bishop d3 or knight f3, but Always black plays just c5, nice six, and I think he's okay. What or even idea behind bishop d7? Bishop e7. Yeah, why? Waiting for me to play a move. <laughs> that's basically it. So e5, that's the main line. Now c5. And now the main line is a queen g4. But I don't really play that move. I played c3. Because after queen g4, black can play king f8, I think dc5 is now the move, and now like some ideas like knight c6, knight f3, and something like this, but I don't really like this position for, for white, even though probably it's just good. So I played c3, knight c6, and now this is kind of new move that white plays now, bishop d3. Of course the main move is knight f3, so, bishop d3. Now, black cannot take two times on d4 because he's just losing after queen g4. Because now, like, there's no idea because bishop is not protecting the pawn on g7 and this knight's hanging. So, he cannot take that. The main line here is uh, queen b6 or bishop d7, doesn't matter. Queen b6, knight f3, bishop d7. If black plays now something like bishop b4, it's bad because why well, just plays king f1? I don't even need to castle because black cannot play knight h6. He cannot play knight e7 because after knight e7, a3 before bishop is lost. So he cannot like develop at all. And he cannot take on d4. He, never, he can never take on d4 because I can just take, take and bishop b5 and the queen is hanging. So in this line it's very strong to put the king on the f5? Yes. So if he plays bishop d7, now he threatens to take on d4, knight e2. Now the main line here is knight b4. But a little, uh, I would say an older move is knight h6, castle, knight f5. And now there is a computer line, uh, which is probably the best, bishop f5, ef5, bishop g5, where white is, I think, just better. But I also like the move king h1. Because now black cannot take on d4, and white's plan is easy, just bishop d2, a3, b4, I think he's just better. Because if he takes here, he's, I think, just lost this, 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 and now a winning move that I have to find, uh, b4, uh, b4, he's just winning. So, also, yeah. The main line, of course, is cd4, cd4, queen b6, knight f3, bishop d7, knight e2. And now instead of knight h6, knight b4 is today like the main line. I have to play bishop b1, the only move, bishop b5. Now 
On a3, black has very good move, queen a6. I cannot take on, on b4 and I cannot castle now, so now it's like black is just better. So I have to castle here. Queen a6, rook e1, and now knight d3. Bishop d3, bishop d3, and now there are two moves, knight f4 and knight c3, but I think I would have played knight c3. This position is very complex, and to be honest, it's I don't really like understand it. I think it's just a, a computer line. So, but he played kind of different. He played so first bishop d7. I mean that's also okay for me. Knight d2, c d c d, and now he plays queen b6 again. I play knight d3 the main line, but he played immediately knight b4, which is I don't really think it's a novelty right now, but it's gonna be bishop b1. Bishop b5 he played, I castled, and now on queen b6, I would have probably just played knight f3, queen e6, rook e1, transposing to that position that I showed you. But he played a novelty here, he played rook c8. So, what would you play now? I played a3, <laughs> but I kind of, yeah, I played knight 6 but knight d3, I wasn't really sure what's that, because at first I thought it's just winning, but I didn't even see, after queen b3, the only move, I didn't really see knight b4 back. Draw, <laughs> draw, gm2-6. I mean, on knight b4, white has to play something like queen e3, and now now there are very interesting lines, like uh, knight c2 is the best, but if, if black takes first here, bishop e2, queen e2, knight c2, now white has very interesting move, queen g4. Black has to take on a1, the only move, because if not I will just move my rook, because now this pawn is protected. And <coughs> so he has to take on a1. Now queen g7, the only move, bishop f6. E F queen F six and now queen to hmm where is where does the queen go to G three probably yeah and now I think white has just great compensation and I think the black has the only moves like to survive here like fast ninety seven knight G six but I still think that white has the edge here why didn't you play rook A two instead of queen G four because ninety four I think same queen G four. G4. Queen B6 maybe? Queen B7. Rook C1. Take. Or take on H8 also. It's mate. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be mate, but 82. Look at one. Look at one, minus two. If you take here, you're lost, huh? Eh? Why? No? Hmm? I mean. Ah, you take here. Okay, so I'll take on C1. So. Okay, take on C1, take on E2. King F1. And then you, have, you get win before. Okay, win H8. If you could have checked on e2 before you took on c1, it would prevent king e5. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> what? Why don't you start with knight e2 instead of rook c1? Because I don't see. Yeah, knight 2 Yeah, it could be Now you take. I'm looking with what? Maybe knight c1 even is good. Maybe like this. Why you don't need it? Like rook c1 is direct. Yeah, but I like this. <laughs> yeah, probably. Wait, let me just see what our friend says. Yeah, queen b6. And complications. So, uh, so queen g4. 
he has to take queen g7. Yeah, I showed this already. So the best move here is knight c2, bishop c2, and now I think not. yeah, rook c2. And now I don't know this position. Again, it's kind of computer-like. I'm not really sure that white is better. Probably there is so much, but I'm not like what to play. Maybe rook e1 or something, but then knight h6. Okay. Yeah. yeah, of course, that's the computer move, you're right. Queen b3, bishop e2, queen c2, bishop f1, knight f1. And now, now probably white is just slightly better. Maybe like queen d7, bishop e3, bishop d8. But still, I don't know, is this enough for really any... I don't know, anything. I mean, I have a C-line, but nothing else. I think it's just about equal. But yeah, probably he didn't see it either, so after a3, he played. And here, if he takes bishop e2, queen e2, nice e2, now I take, take. And now it's kind of different because now I just play a move like queen d3. He moves the rook back, and now I think just knight f3, and I'm just better. You can now really like move your pieces. I don't know. I think now it's like very slow the idea with queen d7, bishop d8. Or maybe I even put my knight on b. What? Could you play queen c8 instead of going back? Cool. Knight b3. No. You can just exchange knight f5. Yeah, I can also do, do that. But I don't want to really ch exchange anything. I think I'm just better here. I don't know. I think I'm better. So he played after a3. He played knight c6 back. But I think this is just, I don't know. I think he's just worse here. Knight c6. He turns to take on e2, knight d4, so knight f3. And now his probably only move is, well. No, that's. I just lost, I think. I, I can just take in queen d2. He has to play g5, I think there's only move. I really thought so during the game. I think my room is saying something, I don't know what. Which move do you want to play instead of g5? g5 is logical. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the main ideas behind bishop e7. Either yeah. Idea. g5. But I just play bishop e3 because even if he pushes g4, I think he just. There's no idea there because I can just go back knight e1 and next f3 or f4, f5 with attack. So after bishop e3, he played knight h6 now. I play just a simple move, rook e1. I want to move my knight. And now he played knight f5. What would you play now? I made a mistake here. I think the only one in the game, a real mistake. G4. <laughs> <laughs> and if he takes an E3? F2. <laughs> <laughs> and attack, huh? Yeah? <laughs> There's no attack, I think. Knight G3, Knight H5. 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 H3. Yeah. <laughs> and H4, huh? <laughs> no. No, Knight G3. Bishop D3. And then Rook F1, Rook F2, Rook A, F1. Okay, but here you have Knight C3. Hmm. <laughs> okay, H5 I have to play. H3. King D7. No. Bishop D3. Take, take, Queen G8. Oh. Mm -hmm. King D2? King G2, yeah. What for, actually? Why not? Actually, actually, knight g3 or something. Actually, knight g3 was better, yeah. Is it bishop g3 or instead of king g2? Instead of king g2. But he might take... Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. okay take, take and rook h4. <laughs> <laughs> That's our beast <laughs> from Poland. <laughs> E4. What? 
<laughs> no, wait, what if I play like this now? Nice. And knight h5 next. Could I play king g2? Queen g6. King g2, rook g2, king h3. Wait, why don't we just, <laughs> why just, why don't we just capture? What? Try the rook. Yeah, the rook. And I take? And move, move knight away somewhere. Where are you? <laughs> Actually, why not? Knight h1. Yeah, why not? Why then not? Have to, yeah? On h1? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Queen g4? Yeah. King, King h2. h2. Next, what's next? Yeah. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. F6. Oh, the knight is really good there. F6. F6 from g1. Yeah. Bring it on. It's okay. King h5. Okay. Rook is a rook. Yeah. I'll capture. Knight. And knight. King h3 next. Queen f3. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get too excited. <coughs> okay, no, I will capture and... What are you going to capture, man? Oh, Bishop yes. d6 is coming if you capture. Oh. I will not really capture. So. Queen. Why not Maybe even Queen g6 now. Queen g2. 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 Queen g2.
Could you go through that a little bit on the queen to g5? Just play the variation at Which one? Queen h5. h5. Yeah. Okay. He takes, I take, he takes, I check. He goes somewhere, I take. And now I think I'm just winning, huh? Like here, maybe here. 95 yeah. ending. No. Well, okay. What? It's not ending. <laughs> it's, <doing better. laughs> it's not really ending. <laughs> It's also winning. Yeah, it's also winning. I want to meet him. So, it's e6. winning, but only 3 plus 1. e6, the only move is... I mean, f6 is also not possible because, again, very big tactic, knight g5, queen h5, queen f7 mate. So, he has to play f4. I take queen f7, king f7, and now just simple chess, bishop d2, going back. Now, I threaten, I think, just knight e5, knight e5, rook e5, taking the pawn on d5. His king is, is very bad there. So if he plays on bishop f6, probably I can just jump again, yeah? Yeah, just again, knight, knight e5. Yeah, knight e5 is just winning. So he played king g7. But now again, I just play 95 because 94 is not working because I can just take I can just take the pawn on f4 and then queen d4 next and it's lost. So on 95 he played now bishop f6 and now the move is what bishop f4 yeah bishop f4 is the move. I mean, he has to take because if not, he's just up, up one down and the whole game. So, gf4, queen g4, on king h6, I would give him mate, knight f7. On king f8, what was the move, king f8? Knight, knight d7, king f7. Just knight d5. Queen e6 first. And now this one. So yeah, that's lost. So he has to play bishop g5. And now I played knight f3, going back. After h6, I just play h4. So knight f3, he played now, what did he play? h5, I think he had only move. h5, now I have to take with the queen, queen g5, queen g5, knight g5. Knight d4, and now, I mean, it's obvious that I'm much better, but now I have to be, I don't know, kind of serious to win this easily. So what would you play? I mean, probably I can take knight d5, but then I give him some activity and everything. Yeah, rook d1. Rook e8, probably. Yeah. What about h4? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this guy, he knows the game, that's the problem. <laughs> so, yeah. Maybe I should move. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, I'm not sure. When did you see him? This way. When you put it, did you put a different move? Oh, yeah? Mm. You can see the main. Yeah, h4 is the best move. Because now I'm threatening to just play rook e7, and my knight is not hanging rook e7, rook f7, and then rook e1. So rook e8? After rook e8, I, I can just take here now, knight e5. And now, we just lost, there's no compensation here. Threatening to also take on f, f4. If you push f3, I can just take knight f3 and you're just winning. After h4, he played f3, which is, I think, a bad move. I think still better to play maybe rook e8. Not allowing me to get rookie sand because I think they're just winning immediately. F3, rookie 7, king g6, and now I play it knight d5. I mean, now it's just totally lost for him. His king, I think it's also like a mate, and he's a pawn down and everything. 
So he took on g2, which is me losing immediately. Knight f4, mm, king f5, rook f7, king g4, knight g6. I'm threatening mate, rook f4. He played knight f5, I played f3, I played king g3, I took rook f5, I played bishop d3, I played, I played knight e4. And he resigned. And that's how I won Boston Open and how I crossed to 560 and how I became first seed of UTB. Yeah.